landmark from the cement industry in Lehigh Valley could become a thing of the past. Nine towering kilns that together look like a sort of a castle. They are falling apart. Some people say they're all for spending money to rehab them. Others say let them go, knock them down. Jamie Stover has the story. They are actually in such a state of disrepair that they're uh, starting to fall down. Lehigh County officials say time is running out. Something needs to be done with these nine 90 foot cement kilns at Sailor Park in Copley. Either rehabilitate them or bring them down forever. I would definitely hate to see it go. They're absolutely beautiful. I mean, they're part of the history of Copley. Each of these structures date back more than 120 years, and they may be the only of their kind standing in the entire world. But does that justify spending $4 million to keep them here? Local residents have some differing views. I do. I do care a lot about history, but $4 million? No. <laughs> I don't think so, but a cement person who works in that industry may think so. Well, as long as we don't, the taxpayers don't have to put out the money. That's why County Commissioner Percy Doherty is suggesting a community fundraiser or help from local cement companies. I would donate. I personally would. And I'm on a fixed income. <laughs> I would not. <laughs> Well, somebody should pay for it if it's not the taxpayers. Like I say, I think maybe the federal government should get involved because uh, the cement from here went into a lot of major projects. Tearing them down will cost an estimated $200,000 per kiln. Then maybe they should fix it. Officials say they may decide to rehabilitate some of the kilns and demolish others. Jamie Stover, 69 News.